It may be possible for humans to harvest solar energy for metabolism. Humans cannot simply photosynthesize because human metabolism is extremely energy intensive. Activity pushing that demand much higher. Photosynthesis has very low power density. The surface area of human skin is far too small to capture enough sunlight to replace eating. For these reasons, full plant style photosynthesis is both biologically and thermodynamically impractical for humans. However, light can reduce metabolism cost through indirect and hybrid mechanisms. Humans already use sunlight metabolically, just not for calories. Sunlight drives vitamin D synthesis, regulates circadian rhythms that affect insulin sensitivity and fat storage, and influences mitochondrial efficiency through light-sensitive pathways. Melanin also absorbs light and affects redox chemistry. Sunlight, it already improves how efficiently the body uses energy. Plausible path is bioengineered symbiosis. Humans could host carefully engineered engineered biohybrid organelles or skin layer symbionts that act as controlled microphotosynthetic systems. These systems might produce small amounts of simple sugars, ATP equivalents, or metabolic cofactors. They would not replace eating, but they could reduce caloric requirements, especially at rest. This would function more like metabolic trickle charging than full fuel. An even more plausible approach is external artificial photosynthesis, tightly coupled to the body. Wearable or implanted systems could harvest solar energy and convert it into biologically usable forms such as glucose analogs, ATP mimicking molecules, or electrical energy delivered through biocompatible interfaces. This bypasses many biological inefficiencies while still integrating with human metabolism. In this model, humans do not become plants, they become solar augmented. Efficiency gains may ultimately matter more than direct energy harvesting. If future biology or biohybrid systems can use exciton-like energy transport Transport, minimize heat loss, and optimize mitochondrial electron transport, then the same calories would go much further. LEDs outperform incandescent bulbs, fiber optics outperform copper wires, and excitonic transport outperforms charge-based flow. Progress comes from wasting less. Food remains the primary energy source. Sunlight improves metabolic efficiency, and wearable systems harvest ambient energy opportunistic. Quantum efficient processing reduces overall energy demand, and a civilization supported by nuclear and solar power supplies infrastructure. Humans themselves become less energetically expensive to sustain. The key insight is that biology does not need to harvest more energy if it learns to waste almost none. Humans will not replace food with sunlight, but they may partially offset metabolic costs with light. Solar energy will increasingly support the systems around and within us, and the real breakthrough will come from efficiency rather than raw energy harvesting.